Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make labels in Word. Your document generally opens up as a portrait page. And when you go to insert your labels and select your different types of labels, it will actually orientate the page according to your labels. So if we go up to this mailings tab here, and then go along to this icon here that says labels and click on it, then this dialog box will appear. And this will give you everything you need to do in order to put the information into your labels and select your printing options. So all we need to do is to put the information in here. Now it may not be an address, it might be something for a project you're doing or an arts and crafts project. But again, if you go down here, you can see that you can either select a full page of the same label or you can select a single label. And then you can also identify the row and column. So if you have used up some labels on your sheet, you can specify exactly where you want that label to be printed. So for the moment, we'll just select full page. Then I'll go ahead and enter the information. Now here you can go ahead and select the font of your choice. This will open another dialog box. And you can go ahead, select the font of your choice, how it appears, its size, the colour of your font, any underlining that you might need, and again, all the other different options that you might get within the font. And this will give you your preview down here. But I prefer to do this at the end. Then once you've inserted your information, go down to label options down here. The first thing to note is label products. If you click on the drop down, this will give you a wide variety of different label options. So for this particular demonstration, I'm going to use this one here. Once you select that option, you'll be given further options here. So just go ahead and select the different labels you're using and then click OK. And once you're happy, click OK again. What you will see is Word has actually opened up a completely different document. This is called Labels 5, whereas my original document was Document 4. Now here you'll be able to see whether Word has identified your label options correctly or not by how it's laid them out on the page. If it's not correct, then obviously you need to go back into the Labels option and then select a different category. Now we need to fully customise these. If you've just used a single label, then you can just click and drag on that particular cell and then go ahead and customise it in the same way. Alternatively, if you want to customise the entire sheet as we're going to do here, you can go up to this top left corner where there's this box with a cross in it and just select. And that will select your entire label sheet. At the top here, you've got table design and table layout. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to Layout. In this section here, there's a variety of things that you can do, but they're mainly related to a table. But in this particular section, we're simply worrying about this bit here. And this is going to be the alignment of your text. You can choose from any of these different options, but I'm going to use this center option here. Then you can go up to Table Design, and then you can go along to this section here. This will allow you to put any sort of borders around your labels. But to be honest, I think that labels are probably better left as they are as they go through the printer. It does, however, give you this other option to colour your labels. So if you did want something a little bit more interesting, then just click on the bucket icon and then you can select from these colours. If the colour of your choice doesn't appear, go down to More Colours. Select More Colours and then you have another dialog box which will appear. In here you have your colour wheel and you have a variety of other different options to select a different colour. If I just click on one and click OK, you can see that my entire sheet is coloured. Now if we can go back to the Home tab and then we've got the font options here. So if I want to change my font, I simply click on this option here and then select the font of my choice. If I want to increase the size of my font, I can use this increase font size button. Just click on it 
and it will increase the size of your font. Alternatively, you can use this one, which will decrease the size of your font. Or you can use the drop down here and just select a value. Entirely up to you. Furthermore, you can change the colour of your text if you wanted something a bit more interesting. Or you can go ahead and create bold text, italic text, underline text. So once you're happy with it all, you can just go ahead and put it through the printer and then use all the labels as you see fit. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.